The other big story tonight is here in Washington, as Capitol Hill once again resembles a fortress. The fence is back up and security is tight ahead of a rally on Saturday in support of those charged with storming the Capitol. CBS's Jeff Begay's reports on new threats that have popped up on social media. With eight foot high fencing now surrounding the Capitol, CBS News has learned that Capitol Police aren't just gearing up for Saturday's rally, they're concerned about the day before too. The FBI has flagged social media posts which suggest storming the Capitol on Friday and a new Homeland Security bulletin is warning of lone offenders or small groups that could spark violence. Rally organizer Matt Brainerd, a former Trump campaign staffer, says the event, which will include calls for the imprisoned January 6 rioters to be released, will be peaceful. The Capitol Police know that we are no threat. This is a theater to deter people from attending. The former president, who critics say incited the January 6 riot, endorsed this rally today, saying that people arrested in connection with January 6 are being persecuted unfairly. But those mobs of people caused more than $1 million in damage, injured more than 100 police officers, and led to five deaths. The security presence this time around looks much different. The National Guard has been requested. Nearby police departments are deploying, and new security cameras have been installed. We have to be overprepared. We have to deal for the, the worst case scenario and hope for the best case scenario. The best case scenario is that all this fencing that's surrounding the Capitol and the security cameras guard against the potential for violence. Officials expecting about 700 people out here, but that's a number that could go up depending on the weather. They're not expecting rain on Saturday. They're expecting clear skies. Nora. Jeff Begays, thank you.